Hi, I'm Muhammad Salih Mukhtar, working as assistant professor in the Dibana Mathematics in Sia Blocking College. In this class, I am going to take the topic, the introduction of the sites. First of all, let us know the difference between crisp site and fuzzy sites. What is mean by crisp site? It's nothing but it's a collection of well-defined objects. For example, the collection of all intelligent students in your class, those who got above 90% in all subjects. It's a defined one and well defined and also collection so that it is a set. So like this, so many sets are there we know. In the case of crystal sets, a given object X may belong to the set A or not belong to a set A. So they have we have only two chances. So it can be described by the characteristic function which is equal to one if it is there, otherwise zero. This is generally already there. Now we enter into position. So for, uh, what is going to be fuzzy set? A fuzzy set is defined as the set of all ordered pair x comma mu of x such that small x belongs to cut x where mu of x is a function from cut x to close to 0 comma 1 which is called a membership function and what is cut x nothing but it's a universal set. So a fuzzy set also a collection, no doubt, but it's an ordered pair. So this set, this fuzzy set, based on only membership function, but general crisp set is based on characteristic function. That is the main difference. For see the example, at x equal to x a b c d e there are five elements what are the five a set of students in a class and suppose we take a b for the set of smartness of students that means what those students whatever who are, who are maybe there in the class we identify their smartness so then whenever this fuzzy set based on we say linguistic term. What is the linguistic term? That is in this example smartness. So we couldn't be able to say simply they are smart or not smart. But generally we can able to say because we take any class, some students may be 20% smart, 80% smart, like that. So that here we take the a, a the set of all ordered pair a collection you know so what is given a 0 0.2 means that the student a have 20 percent smartness the student b 0 that means what membership value 0 means that the the completely not smart. Take the student C, membership value 1 means that they are 100% smart. Take the student D, 0 0.8 membership value, so that means what 80% smart. If we take the student E, 0 0.5 membership value, that means what 50% smart. So, this is the advantage of fuzzy set. In the crisp set, we could be able to say like this then only we can able to talk about whether they are smart or not in crisp set but using this fuzzy set we can able to say how they are smart this is the advantage of fuzzy concept okay next now let us see some basic concepts of or basic terminologies of fuzzy set first support of your fuzzy set. What do you mean by support of your fuzzy set? Nothing but it is defined as the set of all 
element small x belongs to capital X such that mu of x greater than 0. That means members value greater than 0. Take an example. We are defining a, a comma 0.2, b comma 0, c comma 1, d comma 0.8, e comma 0.5. Now what is support of a? Only in the support of a position we will consider those have members value greater than 0. So if you see like that in the position a only small a, c, d and e because we will be have members value 0. Okay. So s of a equal to a, c, d. Yes. Now very important a is a first set but if you find support of a set what is that? It's a crisp set, not a fuzzy set. You may understand through so this example S of A. Okay. Next, another terminology very important alpha cut or alpha level set. What is the alpha cut of your fuzzy set is nothing but the set of all small x belongs to x such that its members value greater than or equal to alpha. Like the another one, strong alpha cut. Nothing but the set of all small x belongs to x. It's such that its members value should be greater than alpha. That is the main difference between alpha cut and strong alpha cut. Street here. So that we call strong alpha cut. Now let us consider the example. A versus the given. The set of all a comma 0.2, b comma 0, c comma 1, d comma 0.8, e comma 0.5. In this example. See, you know what is alpha? Alpha represents members will. So, alpha cut you can able to find for all five elements in the position. set. For understanding, I have given only two. Suppose if we consider alpha equal to 0 0.2, so a 0 0.2 actually what from the definition of alpha cut, its members value if it if you want to put any element in the alpha cut then members value should be greater than or equal to 0 0.2 in that sense if you see the fuzzy a small a c d and e another thing strong alpha cut the same alpha equal to 0 0.2 consider so here then we want to put any element in the set in the strong alpha cut only the members value should be greater than 0 0.2 in that sense if you see the fuzzy set a if you see the fuzzy set a small small a will not come because it has members value only 0 0.2 so it should be greater than 0 0.2 so that b also will not come c d and e that it similarly a1 a1 plus and etc Another thing, very important thing, in the alpha cut of your fuzzy set or strong alpha cut of your z, if you take that, we find both things definitely will be a crystal set. You may understand from the example. Another terminology, the height of your fuzzy set, nothing but the supremum of all the membership values available in the fuzzy set. Then another one definition when we say that if fuzzy set is normal if it has height will be 1 if it has height will be less than 1 we call the fuzzy set is abnormal let us consider an example the fuzzy set a in this a if you see that what is the height of a you take all the members value 0 0.2 0 1 0 0.8 0 0.5 what is the maximum or supremum will be 1 so height is 1 so that the given position a is normal understand next now we know already the operations of crisp set most of the operations of crisp set are applicable here in position also for understand first of all i have given only three things okay first one union the union of two fuzzy set suppose we consider a and b are two fuzzy sets 
what will be the union of two fuzzy z? It will be another yeah, fuzzy z, new fuzzy z. What will be the membership value? That is the main thing. So, how to find the membership value of a union b? Nothing but maximum of mu of x and mu of b b of x. Consider an example. The fuzzy z a equal to a comma 0.3, b comma 0.5, c comma 0.9, d comma 1, e comma 0.7. Another was z b equal to a comma 0.6, b comma 0.5, c comma 0, d comma 0.8, e comma 0.2. Now we find out a unit b that is for the union of two for sets. Right? What to do? The elements are same, remain same. A, B, C, D, no no doubt. What will be the membership value for that? We have to consider maximum of the corresponding both members values. See, if you take A, in the first set A members value 0.3, in the first set B members value for small A 0.6. So what will be the maximum? Maximum of 0 0.3, 0.6, nothing but 0 0.6. So that we put small A, 0 0.6. Similarly, if you take B, 0 0.5, here also B, 0 0.5, so that maximum 0 0.5. For C, 0 0.9, 0, so maximum 0 0.9. For the element D, 1, 0 0.8, so what is the maximum? 1. If you take the element E, 0 0.7, 0 0.2, what is the maximum? 0 0.7, right? So this is a way of finding the union now two for the sets. Okay? Next, the intersection of two for the sets. What is the way? The intersection of two for the sets? Nothing but it's also a, again a new for set. But the a members it will be different. That is what how to find out mu a intersection of mu a intersection b of x, nothing but minimum of mu a of x and mu b of x. For example, let us consider the first set A and B. Now I have to find out the intersection of A to first set, that is A intersection B. Okay. Now take the element small a, the membership value 0 0.3 in B 0 0.6. So what is the max? No, sorry, what is the minimum? 0 0.3. So that we put inter inter intersection A comma 0 0.3. Similarly for B 0 0.5, 0 0.5, so that 0 0.5. Minimum. Next for the element C, 0 0.9, 0. What is the minimum? 0. Next the for the element D, the remember value 1 and 0 0.8. What is the minimum? 0 0.8. Next the element small e, 0 0.7, 0 0.2. Both are member uh, values. So what is the minimum? 0 0.2. Okay. So this is a way of finding intersection of two for Next. The complement of a fuzzy z. What is maybe complement of fuzzy z? Nothing but it's also a new fuzzy z whose members will function will be mu a of x equal to sorry mu a bar of x. The, we take the fuzzy z a so that the complement of fuzzy z a bar. Then members will be mu a bar of x equal to 1 minus mu a of x. Now let us consider the an example the first is a equal to a comma 0 0.3 b comma 0 0.5 c comma 0 0.9 d comma 1 e comma 0 0.7 now find out a complement nothing but for the element a the mmc value 0 0.3 so that 1 minus 0 0.3 what is the value we know 0 0.7 next for the element b the mmc value 0 0.5 in the position A so that 1 minus 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Next for the element C, the membership value 0 0.9 so that in A bar 1 minus 0 0.9 so that 0 0.1. Next for the element D, the membership value 1 so that 1 minus 1, 0 for the complement A. Okay. Now for the element, next for the element C, E, the membership value 0 0.7 so for a bar 1 minus 0 0.7 so that 0 0.3 so this is a way of finding complement of fuzzy set so just we can recall what are the things we are discussed in this class first we have differentiated we have been differentiated the difference between 
crisp set and fuzzy set okay then there are advantages then we discussed some basic terminologies what are they support of fuzzy set alpha cut of fuzzy set strong alpha cut of fuzzy set height of fuzzy set normal and subnormal of subnormal of fuzzy sets then some operation especially union of fuzzy sets the intersection of fuzzy sets the complement of fuzzy sets so very very this i think i hope this class will be very useful to you then remaining we will discuss in the next class thank you